All right. Um, good evening, all who will be watching this interview. This is True Education Devotions and a little bit of preparation for the Q&A that will be coming. Um, the questions and answers will be on young people and homeschooling um, in the light of true education. And so we've got different panelists and one of the panelists will be Donella Taylor. Um, and she uh, has had her own experience with this, but a lot of people will not be familiar with, um, with her. She has joined a few times. Um, so we thought we will do um, some interviews so that people will be able to get to know the different panelists and know what kind of questions um, could be asked so that you can send those questions or ask them to the host at the meeting themselves. Um, so without further ado, um, can you get, tell us a little bit about yourself, Danella? Well, hi, yes, good evening. Although when you're watching this, it may not be the evening. Um, my name is Danella. I was born and raised in Manchester here in England. And I was born into a Seventh-day Adventist family. I was raised as a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. Um, I appreciated the faith. I was... I was a young person who was really hungry for understanding the truth and so I would ask a lot of questions about the different things that were taught in, in our faith you know I'd, I would ask well what is this in the revelation about the beast and um and about the dragon and what does it all mean mm. I would try to read books and I didn't fully understand uh, I would ask my parents and they couldn't fully answer either you know they they would say oh these are good questions or we don't actually know the full answers for ourselves we think it's this and this um and then my dad gave me a book um, i think it was by joe cruz and i and i started to to read more and research more and then our sabbath school teacher changed the topics of the sabbath school to be to about prophecy and we we just had a whole lot of questions about what the bible was teaching and basically i became enlightened like my eyes were open and I was like, wow, there is so much in the word of God. Like there is, there's just so much here. And so more and more and more, I grew to love and understand um, the word, understand it more and came to love to learn about it more. So that's my, that's my, my background. But then everything changed when um, I was introduced to, to even more about the truth. Should I continue there or do you want me to <laughs> pause? Um, yes, thank you. Um, so we, um, like I mentioned, we'll be doing the Q&A on young people, especially. Uh, now, as you mentioned, you uh, were raised in an Adventist family. Um, and as many of us Adventists are not necessarily um, homeschooled. Most, most people are not. Uh, we are obviously blessed with advanced institutions um, but most people are, are not blessed to be homeschooled and even here in the UK though we have advanced institutions uh, not many people are able to go there either so um, in light of homeschooling and um, true education uh, what what has been your experience mm, okay yeah I definitely wasn't homeschooled I went to a Church of England primary school and I went to a private all girls grammar school for secondary school, um, which I, I really appreciated that secondary school, actually, I think they had some really high, high principles, which teaches me that the people of the world, they understand something, they understand something mm -hmm. about the way that a proper lady ought to dress or carry herself, you know, and we weren't allowed to wear makeup or jewelry at that school, it was just mm -hmm. very, um, but it wasn't a Christian school. Um, and that's the way that, that I was raised. My parents, I guess, would tried as much to give me, a, a, a put me in, in the best schools. Um, I didn't understand what the word, that the phrase true education meant. If somebody had said that to me before I was uh, 19, I, wouldn't have, I just wouldn't have known what they were talking about. I didn't know that there was a book called education. You know, I barely read the spirit of prophecy. But I went to, under conviction and various different incidents that happened, I ended up in Guyana in, um, in the jungle. 
Kimbia Mission Academy. And Kimbia Mission Academy was a school, a mission school that was being run after the Madison Order. Now mm-hmm. I saw that, but I didn't know what it meant. You know, I saw that on the website. I was like, okay, what's Madison? And being at this school, they would they studied every um, once a week in lunchtime with the staff they studied the book education and this school was so strange to me they had classes in the morning and their textbooks were desire of ages and the great controversy mm. <laughs> and then in the afternoon they did practical work they were either in the garden or they were in construction or they were in the kitchen um or they were doing outreach with me you know i was just a bible worker rowing up and down the river and I was thinking, what a strange place. Like, how, what principles is the school built on? But the more and more that I was at that school was the more and more I really came to, to love and embrace that system. I thought it was a system that just that school carried out. So my, my life became about, I'm going back to Guyana. You know, everybody that saw me after I came back from the mission field was like, I'm going back to Guyana because there's something about that system. Mm-hmm. Um, the Lord never brought me back to Guyana. He never allowed me to go back. But what he did allow was for me to come in contact with other people after that in uh, in America, mainly, who were teaching the same system. And and there was a time when it all clicked in my mind. I was like, wait a minute, this is, this is a system that's been established from the very beginning. And I started mm-hmm. to understand about the, the Eden pattern of education. And I started to understand about the fact that it was carried along all the way through the Bible, the school of the prophets. Bits. Christ used exactly the same method all the way down up until Madison that was using the same method and now we're called like to go back to those principles of true education which really is so separate and distinct from what education of the world looks like is really the development the holistic development of character and it's really based on the principles of the family and so this was my second huge enlightenment in life and I realized oh I'm not going back to Guyana to get that system God has called me to a uh, ministry of establishing this system all over mm. the world. Amen. Thank you for that. Um, that is quite a, a history. And so I know, I know that you have also been to other schools that also have a similar um, system, how the, or according to the Ma- Madison School. Um, so what, what are some of the other institutions that you were able to visit? Mm, yeah, so mainly all in America, really. I went to a place called Washita Hills College, which also has an academy, and they um, are founded on these principles of true education, of blending, um, learning with doing and not separating the two, um, of trying to establish things on a family basis. And so we as students would kind of be assigned to staff homes, um, for, at various times and just tried to integrate us so that that family ethos was continued and then after that um, I went to a place which is now called Butler Creek Health Education Center which is really grounded on on the practical side of mission of mission work and of ministry and of understanding how to be self-supporting and how to integrate these principles of true education into everyday life because true education never ceases you know, it's, we, we are learning every day and it will never cease. Even when we get to heaven, God's ideal for us is to keep on developing. So that, yeah. that's, that's really it. And so that was a place where I lived it every day. You know, every day was in the garden and every day was we had, you know, family worship and every day was doing the practical duties in the kitchen and every day was, was teaching this to somebody else. Um, and after that, I went to see some different places I worked at. Um, meat ministry where we we had the the beautiful task of kind of crafting that for the students that came there so that they could leave with the fire of this is what it looks like in my practical experience mm. that true education is not left up to an institution that it's really is the purpose of why families exist mm-hmm. um, and so that was amazing and then from there we established another institution, which is now called Red River Outpost, which was for the purpose of training uh, young people, we're training anybody really, into a life of practical ministry blended with uh, evangel living. Amen. That's powerful. Yes. Yeah, so 
I think that that is a very good introduction to who you are. Now, obviously, we we'll, um, we don't want to um, give away everything. There is space for um, uh, questions at the question and answer session as well, especially in the light of, I think a lot of people probably have questions of the university and what, what place does that have? And um, um, I think that the, you probably have a lot of insight in that as well. Um, which we do not need to share all now, they can come to the Q&A. <laughs> um, but um, thank you so much for your introduction. And um, we are looking forward to see you at the Q&A at the end, the last Tuesday of this month. So may God bless you all and hope to see you there. God bless.